Hey Linux folks, I'm Abhishek from It's Force and I'm going to show you the new shiny features in the Linux Mint 19 release. The first thing you will notice is the brand new fresh look in Linux Mint 19. It uses Cinnamon 3.8 with GTK 3.22 and the look is fresh and very soothing on the eyes with the flat approach. Not everyone would like it but well, personally I liked it. Linux Mint welcome screen has been revamped as well and I think it is now more useful to the new Mint users. It has been in categories and you can find everything you need to start up your Mint experience. The biggest update I think is on the update manager itself. You remember the time shift backup tool created by Linux Mint itself? It is now an integral part of the update manager so you must configure the backups so that you have you have regular snapshot of your system so if anything goes wrong with your updates or anything with your system you can easily restore with those system snapshots the update manager doesn't have the level recommendation and anymore so no one to five update levels anymore i mean it's there but it's not enabled by default you can bring it back it's really up to you with time shift in picture, you can also enable automatic updates so that it checks for updates regularly on hour basis or daily basis. It's up to you to configure. And then based on your settings, if you have automatic updates checked on here, your system will be updated automatically. How cool is that? Software manager has a bit fresh look as well here. There are categories like before, flat pack support is there. Uh, there is one thing, the search option, if you are searching in within a category, it will show applications or results from that category itself. For example, Skype, if I search it outside the category, it has so many Skype results. Yeah, and the search is faster as well. And of course, you can, you know how to install software in the next month. One tiny but I guess it's very useful feature, not very useful but kind of user experience related feature is the maximum volume. So if you set your maximum volume to more than 100%, your system key will go up to that point. But there is a but here. There is also a tiny feature here is that if you set your maximum volume to anything below, even below 100 like anything between 0 to 150, your maximum volume with your media key button, like the audio button on your computer, it won't go beyond that limit. For example, in my case, it's 60% and it's not going to go beyond 60% no matter how much I try. The Nemo file manager has some improvements as well. So, so the search here is also faster now and you have the option to save your search results. So just put a star on it and later on whenever you want if you are searching it again for something else you can just right click on the star icon and you will have your saved search here. Useful for people who are like more used to searching desktops every now and then and it is faster as well. The notifications are smarter in Linux Mint 19. Uh, you can you have the close button and you can also change the position to bottom right now. The PDF editor has some new features as well. So if you have the privacy option enabled disabled actually you you'll see that the pdf editor remembers your last opened files and you can change their thumbnail size you can edit the annotation and it has the epub support now the system setting itself doesn't have much improvement but that's not really a bad bad thing because you know which thing is where and you know how to configure your desktop from the system settings so nothing is changes here which is actually a good feature in 
Point 19 now uses GNOME calendar, so you can sync it with your Google Calendar if you re would really want that. And of course, some might not really like it or even laugh at it, but yeah, there's a bunch of new wallpaper, and I mean it, I mean, like it's not the biggest feature, but I really like to show the default wallpaper collection in almost every linux review or overview linux distribution overview so i'm gonna do that here as well so that was mostly what the visual changes were so what else is new the applications will now open faster there will be no kde edition there will be no ubuntu like data collection the high definition display has been improved the support for xfat file format and the linux kernel 4.15 your Linux Mint 19 will be supported till 2023. So I hope you liked what you just saw in Linux Mint 19 review. And I guess you're going to try it. Uh, if you like this video, do subscribe to us. Give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to us and stay tuned for more Linux videos. Bye bye for now.